Merry Christmas everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Advent Calendar 2022. And uh, let me explain what my idea for Vlogmas this year was. I wanted to do an Advent Calendar with a twist. I didn't want to buy one and have you see me open the same Advent Calendar other vloggers were opening. So I made my own. And how I did it was um, I purchased this little box with the uh, all the dates on it I thought it was so cute but then I started thinking and I asked some of my uh, vlogger friends if they would participate with me and then I asked some uh, other indie pattern companies and some other companies if they would be willing to do giveaways so each day will be either a vlogger and a giveaway or both I don't know but you will have to follow along to find out what's inside so, and I knew this was a busy time of year and everybody's trying to do Vlogmas and they just got over a lot of collabs already. So I wasn't able to get a lot of people to join in, but that's okay. The ones that did, that, that I appreciate it. So thank you for the ones that are participating in my Advent calendar this year. And to show your appreciation for their hard work, I ask that you go over to each of their channels and subscribe if you aren't subscribed and give them a thumbs up uh, to encourage them to keep doing what they're doing for the viewers. So thank you all for joining me this year. And um, first and foremost, I want to let you know that the prizes that I give away, there will be a number in the box and are in the drawer. And that number will tell me who the winner is of my giveaways. The way I'm going to do it is, the, say, the fifth comment will be the one that wins the giveaway. But I pre-wrote the numbers down, so they'll be in the drawer. So the next day, I will tell you who the winner is before I open the drawer. So that's how I'm going to do my giveaways. The other vloggers will do the giveaways the way they choose to do it. And then they will send you back to me so I can either get your email address or your physical address. Because like I said, I do have some companies that are doing uh, the giveaway. And plus the things that I'm making, I'm offering as giveaways. Some of them are behind me that I've already made. And some I'm still making and doing tutorials for. The ones that I've got behind me, I've done tutorials. So when I'm in the drawer, you'll see one of the tutorials pop up. But uh, if there's a number in here, I'll let you know. And that means you. this is a giveaway day for me. And then the vloggers will let you know if they're doing a giveaway. So we're trying to get as many giveaways as possible in, these, uh, in this advent calendar. So you all get a good chance to win something. So... First and foremost, I want to tell you why I celebrate Christmas. I celebrate Christmas because of my Lord and Savior. He was born on that day. Well, not actually on the day 25th, but we celebrate it on the 25th. So I want to give glory to the Lord for His goodness and uh, coming to earth and giving us uh, Christmas to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior. And each day I will read a scripture before I open the Advent calendar. I ask the vloggers if they had a special scripture they would like to be read. And uh, I got some, so I will sprinkle that throughout the Advent calendar. But every day I will read a scripture, open and reveal what's in the Advent calendar. And um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy this year's Advent calendar with a twist. So... I think I said everything. Uh, let's get started with day one. First of all, first scripture. And let me find my first scripture. Okay, it is Psalms 7, or excuse me, Psalms 107 2. Let the redeem of the Lord tell their story, those he redeemed from the hand of the foe. So that was Psalms 107 2. And I am reading from the International Version, the NIV. So, okay, that's today's scripture. Let's see what's in box one. Oh, maybe I can't get it out of here. Oh, there's candy. Okay. 
There we got it. Oh, candy and a note. Oh, today's a giveaway. So the person that leaves a comment and is this number with their comment is the winner. And I will announce that tomorrow. So I will put that there and announce the giveaway winner tomorrow. So, mmm, candy. So I'll enjoy my candy and I will let you see the tutorial that I created for this giveaway. So might not be wearing the same clothes. Excuse me. <coughs> I'm still suffering from a infection and cold going on. So in some of the, my posts, I might sound like a frog or I might not be talking much at all. And believe me, I don't look pretty. <laughs> so enjoy today's tutorial by Granny Sewing Room. And uh, has anyone told you you're special today? If not, let me be the first because you are in God's eyes. So do me a favor, hit subscribe and like on my channel here and do the same to all the other vloggers. So God bless and Merry Christmas. Now on to the tutorial. Bye everyone. Today Advent Calendar is making a pillowcase. So I want to make this pillowcase uh, in the direction of the way the pillows are laying so it's facing up. So you got to cut it a little bit different. Uh, my pillows are going to be for standard pillows which is about 20 inches wide. Uh, I tried one of my, my pillows to see what size to make. So I'm going to cut off about 40 inches, 41 inches of this fabric and I'm going to have to cut probably a lot off at the other end so let's see I want to be able to clean this up so move her up and let's get to cutting the second one out. I'm going to open this up and see what it looks like. So see I want my pillowcase to be going like this on my bed instead of like they usually do because otherwise you would cut this like 27 inches, 26 inches and the pillowcase would be going this way and it would be laying like this on your bed. But I want mine to go like this on my bed. So, now I got to recut it this way. Because this would probably fit a king pillow, but I'm doing a standard pillow. So that means I want this to be probably about 26 inches because I want a five inch cuff. So a lot of waste doing it this way. First of all, I'm gonna cut the salvage off. cleaned up and I'm going down to 20 I'm going to do 26 and a half usually I do 27 but my pillows are usually pretty long because standard pillows just aren't so I'm going to do 26 okay so that's going to be my pillowcase upside down now I got to make my trim and I am going to make that out of this and let's see I want a five inch trim or cuff so I am going to cut this ten and a half and 
These are very fast and quick Christmas presents, and they are nice. So let's go ten and a half. My kids like to get these. I was making them for Christmas and Halloween. There's ten and a half. Okay, let's set this over there. This over here. Spread this out. Now this is the part that can be confusing because if you were just doing a standard pillow, you'd want to go directional that way. But we're going this way because I want the cup on the side. So we kind of pin it up like this and let me grab some clips. And clip them down. I see I got to clean the sides up a little bit, so I'll do that. Because I want them to be even. Oh, Sherry. Sorry. Can you still see? Yep. All right. Now let's roll the pillowcase up. I hope you're enjoying our advent calendar so far. And we just clip the edge of the top here. Get all them together and make a tube. Now it's time to go sew this, and I'm just going to serge. I'm not going to do any French, French seams. I'm just going to serge that, and I'll take you over to the sewing machine. give this a press and I will be right back and now the magic we get to 
turn it inside right or outside right however you say it Now this will be how it lays on your bed. Isn't that cool? Now I'm gonna go press the top of this and then I like to top stitch the band down and I will be right back. Okay, I like to use this, this foot right here to make my uh, top stitch on my pillowcase. It helps you just stay in that groove. And I'm going to stitch it at three point, this says four, but I guess that's a 3.5 because it doesn't have odd numbers. All right, that's not where I want it. I'm going to do six. I like that. And it doesn't want to go. probably used black. Yeah, black would have been nice. But it just gives you a straight stitch by using that, uh, that foot. So back over to the serger. And I serge the sides and the bottom. And I am not doing French seams. That would be nice, but no one sees it. I'm not going to stress over that. So let's go over the serger. Okay, let's go press, let's go tuck our seams in, and uh, 
turn it right side out and we're done and I'll show it to you on a pillow. I like to set my seams. I fold my seams on top of themselves before I press in. And that just helps bring out the corner a little easier. Makes it a little more crisp. And this don't have a side seam. chopstick and get them corners nice and crisp and pointy and give her a good press. I like to wet my seams have it. Let's try it on a pillow. And there is your Christmas pillowcase. My pillow is kind of old so probably a newer pillow would fit it much better. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Now don't forget this uh, pillowcase set is one of the giveaways that you can win so watch whichever uh, vlogger at the end of their video, they will be announcing the giveaway. I don't know if it'll be me or one of the other vloggers. So, but this is one of the giveaways.